Hi, hello, and welcome back to another JotForm tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the brand new JotForm 4.0 that they have released recently that is supposed to be more user-friendly on web, but is also way more user-friendly on mobile. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I am currently logged into my JotForm account. I am welcomed with this little window introducing me to JotForm 4.0 and it's many new exciting features. Um, I'll list them off because JotForm actually uh, contacted me directly um, and said, yes, I would love to make this video, so I'll go back and give a brief, well, I kinda already did that, but we give a brief shout out to JotForm and thank you for contacting me. I appreciate it a lot as a small YouTuber. So moving on with the video. So like I said, the new version of JotForm is uh, entirely mobile friendly. And when they say that, they mean through a mobile web browser. So there's that. You can now do some offline form building. And then once you're able to reconnect to the internet, then it will save everything that you've changed. And also introducing real-time collaboration. It's just a lot of improved everything, basically. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and create a form. I'm going to use a blank form. You can use a template or import a form, but I'm going to create a blank form. I'm going to give it a title and then hit continue. All right, so we now have our form with our title, and here we have our elements that we can add, and this will be our designer, and it will all be on one page. I think there is a setting somewhere where it kind of redirects you to what we're used to in the older jaunt form, but that's only within the advanced settings, not necessarily in the main design of the form. So let's go ahead and add a few elements, shall we? We can add a full name option, and then we have our properties here, much like how we had in the other form builder, but this is nicer looking and isn't like a new pop-up window and such. We'll add a few more things, because why not? All right, so we have added a few elements just by clicking and dragging over, and then you can deal with the settings just by clicking the properties, go through the options and change what things look like and all that. You can give a rating amount on that one, which I believe this form element is actually different. I don't remember seeing this in the other one, so they've added a few more. I believe this is something that JotForm has added within the submit button. There's a advanced setting and you can turn on the reset button and what it does is it will reset all the things you have filled in to their original state before they filled in the form so that way if they want to start over they don't have to go delete everything in each of the forms. You can also give users the option to print your form which is kind of nice. But anyway you can adjust your form in those ways and you can add a payment method if you so desire or need to. They have other widgets you can add. It's a really nice user friendly. So enough of this. I'm going to go into the form designer and to show how much it's simplified instead of having to redirect to this bigger uh, separate site within JotForm. Here you have all your themes. It's really nice. I rather enjoy it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a theme. So now that I have my theme selected, uh, I can preview the form and see what it looks like. And then we can go colors. You can change the font color. You can change the input background color. If you want to go to the advanced designer, then this is where we would get the form builder that we're used to in the older jot form. So I'm gonna go back to builder. Then you can preview your form. Once you are done, you can come into settings and do with all this. You can change the thank you page or you can have it redirect to a external link set up conditions then you can come over to publish and you can create your own link by clicking the little edit button and you can change it to whatever you want it to be then you hit apply and that is your new URL so instead of the random letters you now have form.jotform.com slash your username slash whatever your you have uh, changed it to be and then you can reset it to the letters if you want to. Then you have your embed options or with the feedback button, all the wonderful settings or other options for embedding and uh, instructions on uh, embedding it or publishing it, sorry, on multiple platforms. So that is more or less how you use the new JotForm uh, builder and its nice user friendliness. And I love the new layout and it's super simple and you don't have to go to a separate page just to design your form. So now that I've shown you the web designer, we're going to head over to the mobile designer right now. So now we are over on the mobile version 
and as you can see it looks similar to the page where we first create our forms so I'm going to go ahead and click create form I'm going to create a blank form I'm going to give it the name mobile hit continue and then it creates our form just like it does on the web version and as you can see we have our um, add and design buttons like we do on the web version, but instead they're in the bottom left instead of being on eye level of the web version. So I'm going to go ahead and add some elements. So as you can see, it's just as easy to add elements um, and you can move them around by clicking the arrows, which is my personal preference uh, because every time I go to move, an option, like especially if I try to move it up, I always somehow accidentally move it above the title. This time I didn't in some of my previous recordings of trying to record this, um, which has been more times than I'd like to admit, I've accidentally moved it above the title, but it's an easy thing to fix. You can just hit the down arrow or uh, attempt to drag it down again. Anyway, so the form is just as easy to build on mobile as it is on the web version and you have your settings, which are laid out exactly the same as the web version which is so great so then you're not essentially having to play where's waldo with your form builder which you don't want to do when you are trying to find an option instead of trying to hunt it down and looking through forums and whatnot but anyway i'm going to quick note before i move on to the design one bug that i would like job form to maybe fix where maybe it's uh, a google chrome on mobile thing i don't know um, is that every time we do something, it seems our buttons move to the bottom right corner. But since Jotform contacted me directly, I figured I'll just kind of point that out and see if they can fix that. But still loving this form builder. It's not, doesn't get any more complicated to hit these buttons. They're still pretty accessible. Anyway, our form designer looks exactly like the one on web, just slightly condensed because, you know, smaller screen. Uh, we can come over and pick our theme. I'm going to pick this one. And you can, as we can see, theme comes over here then you have your settings just like you do uh, online you can edit the thank you page they will redirect it you can change the publish and you can hit the edit thing to change the URL of your form the only problem is you can't exactly see what you're typing on the mobile version so I'll type M O B I L E for mobile and you can't exactly see what I've typed, but it is there, so I'll, I will hit apply. And as you can see, kind of from right there, that our uh, link has changed. I'm gonna go back, you can change the colors, change the form image, and whatnot. But yeah, it's all the same, and the fact that it is the same on mobile makes it just that much easier to find everything instead of trying to hunt down where the same setting is on a different version. I believe I have basically covered everything that there is to offer on the web version of the brand new Jotform 4.0 as well as the mobile version which is basically the same just on a smaller screen. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new Jotform 4.0. I happen to really like it. It's much nicer instead of having to go to two different web pages, uh, just one for the designing the form itself and one for uh, designing like the theme and the colors and whatnot. So anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. You can click down below to subscribe to the respective channels. And you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.